So earlier this month, seven on your side told the DMV uh, had seized a district man's tax refund before even hearing his challenge to a speed camera ticket. And we've now learned that it apparently happened more than once. Chris Van Cleve is here with more on that and the action DC Council is preparing to take. Chris? Guys, the DMV is not giving us a clear answer about how many times this has happened. In fact, the agency has declined our repeated requests to even talk to us on camera at all. But we keep hearing from you about problems with their ticket adjudication. And while the DMV may not be willing to talk about it, increasingly, the D.C. City Council is. To me, D.C. is all about the money. It's just about the money. Jocelyn Johnson was miffed when she got not one, but three speeding tickets from this camera on New York Avenue in the span of a month. She challenged them all. More than a year later, still waiting for the DMV to respond, the district tax office tells her it's intercepting her tax refund to pay the $400 bill. I thought that was messed up because that's what I'm saying. They took it before they gave me the opportunity to appeal. She called seven on your side after seeing she wasn't alone. Jason Hare also waited more than a year, and the DMV grabbed his tax return before even considering his challenge to a speed camera ticket. They took the money without my approval or knowledge to pay this, and I wasn't even guilty yet. At the time, the DMV told us it was an isolated technical glitch. But listen to what the DMV told Councilwoman Mary Che's office. You say you have two cases. Well, the director told us that there have been a handful of cases, so it's more than two. It's, it's a number of cases. And just today, the DMV told us something completely different. Since every DC DMV customer case is evaluated on an individual basis, the agency has not tracked cases in the manner you are requesting. I just feel like I just got screwed all the way around. So how does it happen? The DMV gained the authority to ask the district to intercept tax refunds to collect on long outstanding tickets. But these tickets we're talking about weren't overdue. But it was never ever intended to recover that money before you had gone through the full adjudication process. It's not supposed to work like that. It's not fair that it works like that. And we have to figure out why it's happening. Councilmember Che is pledging to hold hearings in the fall about the issues with DMV ticket adjudication. She believes the issues in this report might be from a computer glitch. She's asked the DMV to find it and fix it. As for Johnson, the DMV now admits it took payment before she had time to consider appealing those tickets. The DMV is giving her a chance to do that now. Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News. All right.